asking. So I'm kind of just making all of my videos today because I have time. Um, all my video requests. But actually, I got some mail today because I deserve it. And um, here's the first thing I got was this shea butter. And I'm not even going to pronounce that because I'm not sure if it's a H J or a J J. I'm going to guess it's a J J, but because it's from Africa, I think it's from Ghana. But, I mean, I don't know. So I'm not going to embarrass myself. I already have a little bit. All right. Then I got this Burt's Bees kit, which came with, it's a hand repair kit. It came with this, which is this cuticle oil that I've used before. I don't really use it right now, but it smells really good. It's a lemon, lemon butter cuticle cream. And it smells like lemonade, like lemon bars, just like fresh lemons. It's very zesty and delicious. So I'm loving it. I already put it on my cuticles and yeah, they look good. Um, it also came with, first of all, it was very hard to open. They had it like all cinched up with a double knot and I don't know why they wouldn't like say, oh, well, maybe we're selling this hand repair cream to people who want to like take better care of their hands and nails like maybe they don't want to break their nails trying to open up my fucking double knot but I guess like they didn't think about that so whatever I did it anyway and um yeah hand repair cream this is like a tiny little shea butter hand repair cream I'm not sure it says massage in the hands daily or as needed but I would not use this daily just because it's like so fucking little so no um this one I like a lot. This is almond milk beeswax hand cream. And this smells very good too. This smells like amaretto. It's very rich. And the only bad ingredients in this are fragrance. This is not vegan, but it's not tested on animals. Um, there's also glycerin, which is not like the worst thing, but it's not like my favorite thing. Um, sodium chloride, sodium benzoate, glucose oxidase, and lactoperoxidase. So, I'm sodium borate. So, I don't stearic acid too. <laughs> so, this is a not like a natural product. I don't like, I wouldn't use this all the time. This is like, for me, Birth Bees is like what every other girl, you know, when girls use perfume or whatever. Like, it's just fun and frilly. Like, I... For the bulk of my routine, I use like pure coconut oil, pure shea butter, pure almond oil, olive oil, cocoa butter, you know, things that kind of have like 100% of that ingredient in them and not anything else crazy. But, you know, if I want to smell good every once in a while, like, I mean, those, those smell good too, but this is like definitely an artificial good kind of smell. It's not like, I usually smell like coconut oil, which smells just like coconuts. Like, um, it smells like that dried sugary coconut that you get in the box which I really like, um, and it smells really good. And cocoa butter, when you mix them with cocoa butter, it kind of smells like a brownie, sort of like, but more like a richer, more natural brownie, and it smells really good, but it's not like bees. I'm sure I could create something that was lemon scented as well, like very easily. I just, you know, sometimes you just want to be lazy and use some bad ingredients, but they're not the worst things, not the worst things. Um, and it also came with these gloves, which I thought was very funny, these would not fit me even if I didn't have long nails. I mean, they are stretchy, so um, I'm guessing they'll fit most people. I've personally never had a pair of gloves in my life that have just fit. Um, I've never in my whole life. They always do this thing where they kind of like bag right there, about right there. Oh, and I also got this ring in the mail. This was from my wish list, and I really like it. It's a dragon. It's just kind of fun. It goes on my pointer finger. I really like it. So, um, just for comedy's sake, we'll see how these fit. Yeah, this is them, like, they're up in there, except for the pinky. That's as far as it will reach. Um, this is usually how gloves fit me. These are actually pretty stretchy. For gloves, um, I wouldn't even try to fit into like normal gloves these days, but they don't fit. Obviously, I won't be using them, but yeah. And I think that's all it came today. I don't think anything else came in it, does it? So I may be getting some more later. 
I'm expecting some more nail polishes to come and some other stuff. So I don't think I'll make a haul video for everything. I've made haul videos in the past for other stuff that I've had, but my camera was shit and I just like decided not to upload them because I just didn't want to and I was just annoyed with my camera and everything. So yeah. Um I do want to kind of show though, I do want to show you some stuff that I have, but not in this video. I'll make it in another video. So yeah, that's it. Bye.